All right, goal two. Set the fastest lap time. Oh, all right. And it's gonna be just a three lap head to head. Wow, at Mount Panorama, that's a long race. Um, all right. So you have, I suppose, three chances to set the fastest lap and uh, it's gonna be a rolling start. Interesting. All right, so if I stand in front of this fella here, I will set the fastest lap time. Or faster lap time. I guess that would be the fastest. <laughs> um, all right, let's see. Now, oh, speaking of the new circuit, right, new track, uh, I have heard through Grapevine um, that in next release, next update, uh, I don't know where these people find this information, maybe they know somebody uh, who works at Fire Monkeys, or maybe uh, they know how to crack some uh, the computer code to look inside what's going on, maybe they have some sort of a update log file with the with these uh, game files that we download. I don't know. Anyway, so this is just rumor. No confirmation. We won't know till either Fire Monkeys officially acknowledge it on their like real racing TV or something. Um, maybe they're holding it back as a Christmas surprise. Well, they did introduce a new track. Um, last year around this time that was of course the formula e hong kong circuit um, if you guys have been following my channel you know i actually don't mind that circuit as much as uh, what i gather would be a general consensus which is most people don't actually like that track uh, um, but i still stand by my my opinion that more track is always better and formula e circuit is different enough it's kind of that you know city circuit narrow lots of sharp turns um, it's like a Melbourne on steroids right it's like combining Melbourne and the Porsche dynamic circuit together um, and you know what? That's okay. That's okay in my book. I think it's a cool circuit because it's different from everything else that we have in the game. You know what I mean? Um, and it's got some cool, um, you know, city skyline that you kind of get to see the Hong Kong. So I'm good with that. But anyway, so yeah, from what I've uh, heard about this next update we're supposed to get like uh, the car 200 because currently the real racing 3 has 199 cars the, the 200th car is supposed to be like uh, the r3 spec sylvia i know do we really need it <laughs> um i mean when you have 200 cars do you really need anything really but I think they're kind of making a, a bit of a commemorative thing out of that car since that is the first car many people uh, start the game with, right? It's either that or Ford Focus. I think those are the one, um, two options that you get. Um, I think Sylvia is just a little bit cheaper than Ford Focus. But, you know, I mean, those are like first car price in real racing 3 so you know they're really about identical as they come although once you start upgrading i think ford focus does go a little bit uh higher up with its pr than the sylvia does um, so yes between the two i'd like to think ford focus rs is actually a superior car But really, is there really that much difference between those two cars? Uh, I don't know. 
I think those with those cards, it's almost your personal preference. So anyway, um, oh no, I did not set the fastest lap time. 2:18 is what I need to do. Let's see if I can do 2:18 here. Yeah. What you get for? not paying attention to what's going on in the race but if that's the real challenge with this speed rush tv challenge since they call it challenge certainly race itself is not a challenge uh, ooh, the cutting that's a tricky corner at least for me Yeah, the rumored track is the Red Bull circuit. Uh, so that, you know, sounds like it'll be a fun, fun track to have included in the game. As I said, really any any new track will do for me, as long as it's not a some variation on a shape of oval. You know, we got three different sizes of ovals already. Do we need any more oval circuits? Um, I would say no. But then again, um, yeah, who knows? Maybe super large oval circuit, <laughs> um, just for serving one purpose. That is uh, for distance challenge, mega distance challenge, where you just kind of set autopilot and just let the car run on its own while you go about your own business. Alright, what was the time? 2.18, right? That's a lot of time to kill here. There we go. Somehow I managed to still... Did I really set the fastest lap? That's looking suspicious. I must have, but uh, but then again, I didn't get in in first place, which means the third lap was I really that much faster? Well, let's find out. Oh yeah, oh look at that. Best lap, two fifteen versus my best lap, two seventeen. Ah, oh, that's a funny goal. Obviously, that's faster than the first two laps that my opponent did, uh, because 2.18 was the time that best lap that actually recorded. Uh, maybe the last lap for the opponent did not count, which is kind of weird, because that was my, my best lap was the last one. Anyway, not arguing here, um, but that's... Uh, a little bit of a glitch, isn't it? Yeah, these uh, flashback events, I think there's a uh, fair bit of glitch in these. So, and uh, honestly, I don't think uh, they're too concerned about it, since most of them do work in our favor. They've had like some goals where it's you know messed up bad enough, then I feel like they didn't want to you know waste too much effort fixing it, so they just gave us a. Uh, option to skip a goal for free in the past so that is the last goal was seemed like it's kind of similar to that one isn't it since i didn't win or i did not set the fastest lap but somehow i managed to get through <laughs> you always uh, get lucky once <laughs> all right moving on